Now, for a long time, I've always been an advocate of the WWE champion or the World Heavyweight Champion, or in this case now the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, not appearing on every single Raw, not appearing on every single SmackDown, not wrestling on every single show, not wrestling on every single pay-per-view, in part because it makes that world champion feel like a bigger deal. They're more of a special attraction when they do show up. It brings more prestige and attention to that world title, makes it feel like the bigger deal that it should be. It helps to revalue that title and the champion instead of devaluing that title and that champion. And that was the one reason I was maybe willing at least even though I knew how it was going to go, to stick with Brock Lesnar as WWE World Heavyweight Champion was the fact that I had been spun this whole bill of goods that with Lesnar being the champion, oh, you'll see him more, and you'll do this, and you'll do that. He ain't done a whole lot of shit. The simple fact of the matter is I hope all of you can clearly see what is evident now is that Brock Lesnar as WWE World Heavyweight Champion has been stupid. Flat out stupid. It's one thing to sit there and, let's say, have the world champion appear every other week on Raw. And then maybe wrestle every other pay-per-view. Or only two out of three pay-per-views. But when you get to the point where your world champion doesn't appear on television for several months. And it's four or five months between pay-per-view match appearances. There is a problem and a significant problem. Now you have crossed over from devaluing the belt and the champion to revaluing the belt and the champion to even more so devaluing the belt and the champion. The WWE product for years has always been very belt-centric. It's always been very world champion-centric. And it should be no surprise that a lot of people are very disenfranchised with the WWE product right now, especially heading in to the most important and biggest single show of the year in WrestleMania, and that's due in large part because of the fact that the show is really not being built around the World Heavyweight Championship all that much. It's not being built around the champion nearly as much as maybe it should be and it needs to be. The WWE product has basically been blowing in the wind because they don't have the champion that is so important to the product that they need on a consistent week-in, week-out basis. And now you've taken Brock Lesnar to being a special attraction to being no attraction because he's not there for several months to the point now where when he does show up, he's the wrong type of attraction. Instead of having him be the guy that people hate and want to see get beat because he ended the Undertaker streak at WrestleMania, because he decimated John Cena at SummerSlam, even though that would be a thing that makes him the top babyface in the company, which is what he clearly is now, the WWE has indeed tried to make him that top babyface by not having him show up. And then when he does, after every few fucking months, people are so excited to see him, they forget that they're supposed to hate this guy. This guy that once walked out of the company back in 2004 when they invested so much in him and looked very well poised to do it once again here in 2015. This whole notion that Brock Lesnar has become this big special attraction, um, are ratings better by all that much when he's on the show? Is the live event attendance all that much better for those tapings, for those pay-per-views that he actually appears at? Have the subscriber numbers for the WWE Network increased significantly with Brock Lesnar as WWE World Heavyweight Champion? Has mainstream exposure increased exponentially with Brock Lesnar as the WWE World Heavyweight Champion? Has anything of any real consequence or significance or anybody been elevated with Brock Lesnar as the WWE World Heavyweight Champion? And the answer is an unequivocal, unmistakable, absolutely fucking not! Basically, here's what's come down to with Brock Lesnar as the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. He basically was in a long-term extended off-and-on-again program with John Cena for four or five fucking months. And now you're heading into WrestleMania where he's going to be taking on one of these guys that wasn't ready, frankly, for this spot. That the WWE hadn't done a good enough job of getting ready and primed a position for that spot in Roman Reigns. Now you've got a title match at WrestleMania that people don't want to see, that people don't give a fuck about. And I'm sorry, even if you sat there and put your precious fucking Daniel Bryan in there or they went in another option, it wouldn't have been a whole hell of a lot different. Because at the end of the day, when you're talking about that championship match at WrestleMania, in order to build that intrigue and interest in that championship match at WrestleMania, Brock Lesnar is the champion. He needs to be there. If there's
choose any time of year that he should be there, it's now. But instead, he's showing up every couple of weeks. He wasn't at Fastlane. He wasn't at that Raw after Fastlane. He wasn't at this week's Raw. Oh, whoopee, he'll be at next week's Raw. So that way, what? He'll be back again in two weeks on the last Raw before WrestleMania, and then he'll be there, and then Bob's your uncle, he's fucking done? What has the WWE really gotten out of Brock Lesnar as the WWE World Heavyweight Champion? What have you as fans gotten out of Brock Lesnar being the WWE World Heavyweight Champion? What has that roster of the WWE gotten out of Brock Lesnar as the WWE World Heavyweight Champion? The answer is pretty much absolutely fucking nothing. What you've got is a main event for your most important show of the year being built around a guy that's not great at calling his own matches, that very well could have his last match in the WWE, and we've seen how that went back before in 2004, but now we are potentially sabotaging our entire show for putting him in that position to do it again at the main event of that show. Does that make any fucking sense at all? You had this guy decimate Big Show at the Royal Rumble 2014. You had him end the Undertaker's streak at WrestleMania 30. You had him dismantle and destroy John Cena at SummerSlam. Then you had him blow through both Cena and Rollins at the Royal Rumble. It's far too few appearances and far too little significance or consequence. I don't care how much they trot out Paul Heyman to do all these stupid work shoot promos that were great in 1999, but don't fit so much in 2015 that anybody could cut, frankly, and make sound good. It doesn't make Brock Lesnar a good WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Him being the WWE World Heavyweight Champion has been stupid. It was mostly him feuding with Cena, now getting ready to feud with Roman Reigns, and he can't be bothered to fucking show up. We're supposed to be excited and care about this event, the biggest event, the biggest show of wrestling or sports entertainment in the entire freaking year, and the guy with the most important title heading into what in theory should be the most important match can't care enough to fucking show up. Can't be bothered to try and be there. And that makes him a good world champion. You can take that special attraction shit and blow it out your fucking ass. He's long since transcended from being a special attraction to no attraction to where when he does show up, as I accurately predicted so many months ago, the wrong type of fucking attraction. And all the while, what has it created? A match at WrestleMania that is of very little to no attraction. And some of you will strictly blame Roman Reigns for that. And if you want to do that, that's fine, because he is a part of that equation. But he is not the only part of that equation, and frankly, he is not even the most important part of the equation. Because if you want to sit there and say it would be so much better with Daniel Bryan, how is it going to be so much better with Daniel Bryan if Brock Lesnar still isn't fucking there? How is it going to be so much better with Paul Heyman saying this crap with Daniel Bryan being the opponent as opposed to Roman Reigns? How is this going to be so much better? And frankly, let's be honest here, the guy that decimated The Undertaker at WrestleMania, what nobody had ever done before, and decimated John Cena at SummerSlam 2014 like nobody had ever fucking done before, now we've built him up to such a point where anybody beating him straight up would be a fucking joke. Roman Reigns beating him at WrestleMania? Chow, please! Daniel Bryan beating him straight up at WrestleMania? Are you fucking kidding me? So now you've built him up into such a thing that when he does appear, he decimates everybody, but he hardly ever shows. To now where if anybody at all beats him, the amount of rub he might get might be inconsequential to very insignificant because of the fact that nobody would fucking buy it. Nobody would fucking believe it. And everybody would just fart at it. And that's the truth. He hasn't been a good world champion. He's been a bad world champion. He's been a terrible world champion. Think about it this way. He's held that title now for over six months. And what has happened? What has he done to elevate that prominence of that title? What has he done to help that company? What has he done to help anyone or anything? I'm not blaming Brock Lesnar specifically. This is more about the WWE and their own incompetent stupidity. But at this point in time, what are you going to remember Brock Lesnar's title reign for? A whole lot of fucking nothing. He's been the champion for over six months now, and it doesn't even fucking matter. And we don't even care. And don't try to tell me that you do. Because you know deep down inside you don't.
That's why so many of you are looking forward to WrestleMania 31. Could any of that have to do with the fact that the guy who's main eventing the show is the guy that you're fearing is going to leave the company again after WrestleMania 31 and furthermore is barely ever bothered to be around and carry that fucking title on the show or wrestle in a damn pay-per-view? Brock Lesnar's been a stupid WWE World Heavyweight Champion. For all of you that wanted this to happen so bad, I hope you're happy with what you got because you deserve it. For the WWE that had such a hard on for this guy for whatever reason in 2014, after two years of completely screwing the pooch with them, I hope they're happy with what they got because everybody involved fucking deserved this.